Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. A brand new Easy RPG project. I have migrated the writing system blueprints into this project. So if I go to the map, if I play, everything should work. There you go, mount and dismount works. So from version 1.04, the intrication is very easy. If you go to the um, character third person, right? First is the writer's component. That's something you need. Second, the construction script. I'm setting the camera here. Third is the key binding to mount and dismount. These three things you need, okay? So if you copy and paste these three things into your character, it should work without anything. So let's try it on the easy RPG character. If you go to blueprints, characters, uh, base so we want this character this is the playable because this base character is being used by other characters unless you want to make them all compatible with the writing system so i'm going to use the character player right so in here um let's copy and i'm going to copy the writer's component so that okay i don't need to copy it i'll just go to add component writer's component so I have added that, number one. Number two, I'm going to go to construction script and copy this. So what you do is, if you go to construction script, okay, so it has a lot of stuff in it, right? So what do you want to do? So drag out of writer's component, set camera, set follow camera, yeah, set follow camera. and then you have this one camera follow camera right all right so this the second thing third thing is you need the key binding so we're using f so i'm going to copy this and place it in the event graph of here there you go all right now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the wall settings so we have these two game modes right so using third person we're going to use the um this we're going to change it to this character okay even though our mount animation is not set yet so let's see if this works so just this is just everything works if i press f as you can see, I'm still mounting. I just have to fix the mount animations and a few other things, right? All right, so that, that is working. That is That was quick. Um, so what you want to do is go to... We're going to pass over this animation. So we have this animation. This is the longest process, actually. Um, see, if I open the mount animation that, in, that was included, very simple, straightforward mount animations. Go to skeleton, make sure select human rig, click on auto map. All right, so this is set. We're going to do that with the same, this one. Since it's a little different, the skeleton is a little different, we have to do some work on it. Uh, so go to skeleton. All right, uh, this is skeleton, all right? We have to change this. Right click, we're targeting skeleton. Change the first to, to animation. Go to end that. Go here. I'll go to retarget manager. Select him and it. Click on auto. We're going to go over one by one and fix them. So this is spine one. This is spine two. Three. Make sure the name match. Uh, this one is should be clavicle left. Upper arm left. Left. Hand left. We go right right so you just have to go over make sure this name matches with this and also it has left and right and numbers as well some of them make sure that matches otherwise your character will appear broken this is right this is right let's go to the next fence one two three in here usually the number one of their number is messed up so one two three one two three one two three left one two three left so this is thumb is messed up one 
Okay, one, two, three. This is right. One, two, three. 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 And I think we are set. Yeah. So save it. So what we are going to do. So there's another thing. So if you go to your menu pen. It has the A, it has the A post and this is the T post. This is another thing we have to do. So go to your uh, writing system menu skeleton location. This is the writing skeleton. All right. So I'm going to input it here. All right. So you're going to pick the um, the writing system menu pen. So one game writing system. Make sure you get the uh, there are two of them. One I think there are two of them. So this has to be content writing system epic free assets meshes. Writing system epic free assets meshes. This is the right one. So import. So after you import it creates this um, import it then you right click to create posts. Right and it's gonna choose the the right menu point automatically. Alright, so after that you're going to open the writing system skeleton and you're gonna go to modify post. So like the post you just created import. Now if I click on hide hide and view post gives you both right so keep the a post modify use current post save now if i go to the the mount animation if i right click retarget i should have what well, yes yes they both they're both in a uh, t post right so now i have the animation if i go to the easy rpg character um, the writer component. I'm just going to change animation to that. All right. All right. So now we're going to go to um, the writing system animation. We have to transfer the animations. So if I go to NMBP, third person, and if I open the easy RPG animations. Right, go to the event graph. So, pretty much, I need to copy all this. So, so what I'm doing here, so we're here, we're creating, we're setting the character here in JS. So, pretty much, we need to copy all this after this, copy and paste it. here right so it goes here to there and then i'm going to get the component i should have the component already i'm going to do if it's valid so i have to create all this let me see what else i have all right so i have to create all these variables You can also use this directly in the anim graph. Maybe if I don't know if that's going to be quicker though. Okay, so if I go to anim graph and if I go to the main stat machine, so pretty much we're going to put it over here. So if I go to anim graph, copy this, paste it here. So we need to copy this. We don't, we don't need this part. I don't think so. Uh, but we would need this as well. If we go to the event graph. And here at the end of it, we can just place this here. We also need to create these variables. So I'm going to uh, create these variables. OK. Now, if I go to here, I should have mounted. 
and not mounted. All right, and let's see how it looks. So we don't have to touch any of this here. We might just have to do one more thing. All right. So Jess is sitting on the deer stack, but if I rotate, Jess is not rotating with the, the mountable. So it's because of if I go to update rotation, update character rotation in the character player. So you have this fu function. Uh, that executes on take. So pretty much we have to do this. We have to extrude the riders component, mount it, get mounted. So pretty much if it's mounted, we're not going to bother rotating. Yes. Okay, that's pretty much it. So that's going to take care of the rotation part. Let's give one or try. F. There you go. Now if I get off, back to normal. Alright, this should be it. Uh, let me know if you have any question. Um, join the Discord server for faster feedback. Thank you.